yet. The next big thing is to bring out a generation 1.0 technology, energy device, that will enable us to get off fossil fuels and nuclear power permanently as a civilization. We have them, and this film that you're going to see, it, all the proceeds are going to a, to a fund to create an uh, energy lab out near the University of Virginia in Charlottesville so that it can be done within a year or two if we can get the funds together. Now, one thing I whispered in the ear of someone today, and I will share with you a little a bit of it, is that I have a computer disk that has several thousand pages of previously classified and confiscated patents. If you want to put up here for a moment the, uh, the little uh, document from the Federation of American Scientists, you're going to see that, uh, if you go to the documents now, that there is a, a report done uh, two and a half years ago by the Federation of American Scientists saying that there are 5,135 patents that have been seized. Many of these, I guess we don't have it, many of these patents deal with energy generation. And there has been an abuse of the National Security Act that has permitted the seizure of these documents. Now this report by Stephen Aftergood should be headline news in all the world's media. It has not been. Uh, we have to ask the question, why? Who is collaborating with this kind of secrecy that would leave us in a condition where the entire world is melting down with pollution and poverty and Mideast oil wars one after another when the solutions already exist but have been confiscated without the knowledge of the president and without the knowledge of Congress. This is wrong. And so the only way we're going to get around that, just like we've gotten around everything else, we come together as a people. We, not the government or Lockheed Northrop, or Lockheed Martin or Northrop Grumman, fund the energy technologies so that, this is about this, so that we can bring this information out and do it in a way that the whole world knows about it. Now, people said, wouldn't that be dangerous? I said it would be if we did it as secretively, like the next iPhone 6. It would be dangerous if we did it the way everyone's done it in the last 100 years. But if we do it in a way that is smart, where we learn from the lessons of history. And we do it so we're streaming the research on the internet in real time. Anything that we get is in multiple safe storage locations. And the instant we get a fully operational device that is pulling energy out of the zero point energy field that supports the fabric of space time, it's been proven to exist, go look it up, that is going to be released to the public for you for our children and our grandchildren and our great-grandchildren, all right?